guys, it's me, Jasmine. Today I want to show you guys how I clean my ice skates. Next we're going to have a competition and I'm going to be competing my short program on Friday and my long program on Saturday and I don't want to use over the boot tights so that's why I want to make my skates nice and clean. I am also might be meeting with Imani Michelle and she's a figure skater and a YouTuber at the competition and we might do a collab video so I'll have her channel linked down below in the description box so go check her out and subscribe to her. So I have my idea ice flies and I already took the laces out of both of my skates and here they are. I'll show you a picture of before where they weren't clean but then I put them in vinegar and baking soda and I soaked them for three hours and this is as clean as they got but to me it doesn't really matter because I got new laces for my skates but if you don't have new laces or if you don't want to use new laces then you could soak your, your laces in this vinegar and baking soda for 24 hours and they might be a little more cleaner. So then I have two types of sponges. I have a regular one and a Mr. Clean sponge. Then I have a rag and I have a couple of extras over here just in case. I have my Idea Skate Polish in white and this is what it looks like. And I'm going to use this to polish my skates. And then I have a cup to pour out into so that it's a little bit easier to use. And then I also have a toothbrush to get into the fabric spots. I have some glue, sticks, and some stones because my skates are missing some stones and I want to replace them. I also have a bowl of water and dish soap in it. And finally, I have two bags for my two skates filled with baking soda, but we'll get back to those after I finish cleaning my skates. So let's get cleaning my skates. First I'm going to put down one of my skates in it so that I only have one on my table. And I'm going to take the water with dish soap in it and I'm going to put my sponge in it, the normal one. And then I'm going to rub my skates. So I finished dyeing my skate with the regular sponge and now I'm going to take the Mr. Clean sponge and I'm going to go over and rub it a little bit harder. So now I'm going to take a towel and dry my skates. So on to the next step. Now I'm going to take the Adia Skate Polish and it says to shake well before use so I'm going to shake it and Adia is not sponsoring this video. I just thought it would be good because I have Adia Skate but usually I use toothpaste and the Mr. Clean sponge to clean my skates, so I just wanted to try this out. But, if Adia is watching this video, can you sponsor it? <laughs> so, now I'm going to take it, and I'm going to pour about a third into my cup. So, now I'm going to take my toothbrush, and I'm going to put about half of the just brush into it and I'm going to start rubbing my skates. So now I'm going to take the core of my rag and I'm going to dip it into the polish. And I'm going to dab it on to like the scratches on my boot, like this, so that it soaks it up. And then I'm going to take the other side and rub it in. So I finished my skates and they look better than what they were before and here's the look. And now I'm going to take my new laces and put them in my skates. So now I'm going to put the laces in my skate.
So I finished my skate and now I'm gonna do the other one. So I finished both of my skates and I'm a little disappointed because on the front, Adidas skates always come with a stone on the front of the laces and these are Adidas laces and they didn't come with one so I'm a little disappointed but I'm not that worried because I'm missing a stone on the side of this skate so if I replace this stone right here then I could put two extra stones right there. So I'm going to put out a little bit of glue onto a piece of paper. Then I'm going to take a toothpick and dip it in a little. And then I'm going to place it on the skate. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to take a stone and press it on. Like that. And now I'm going to do that one more time to put the other stone. Like that, and now I'm going to place one right here on to the lace. I'm going to set that aside, and I'm going to take my other skate, and I'm going to do the same thing for this lace. Like that. Any type of stuff. <laughs> so, I forgot to mention this, but whoever wants to know what type of glue I use, I use E6000, and this glue is perfect for dresses, skates, and pretty much any stoning that you have to do. And this is what my skates look like when I finish them, and I think they look a lot better than what they were before. So now I'm going to go back to the baking soda bags and they're technically just these little pouches and I put baking soda in them and I use these all the time for my skates because they don't make them as stinky. They're still a little bit stinky but they're not as stinky. I've tried everything like those little smelly balls that you get at the shoe stores that you can put in your shoes to not make them stinky. Those didn't work for me. So I found this on the internet and I thought I would try it out. And it really works a lot, but whenever the baking soda is wet, I always change it out. And then I just put them in my skates, like this, and I store them in my bag. I hope you guys like this video. I want you guys to comment down below how you think my skates turned out. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I love you guys. Bye!